Tropical storm Gordon continues to barrel towards the Gulf Coast. You are taking a live look right now at Pensacola Beach in Florida, where, yes, you can see rain is already coming down. And as we continue to follow the path of Gordon, while the Gulf is the bullseye right now, this storm could bring some heavy rain to Arkansas over the next couple of days. That is a big story we're covering this afternoon. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us here. I am Mallory Brooks. Gordon could become a hurricane as it makes landfall overnight and because we are your weather authority we have team coverage this afternoon we want to start with jay gray live in mississippi tonight where people are bracing for gordon jay Hey there, yeah, and Mallory, the wind picking up, the clouds building here. If the current track holds, this storm would hit here. This would be the target point at this point. Right now, though, Gordon continuing to churn in the warm waters of the Gulf, building strength and momentum as it moves in. With Gordon racing toward the Gulf Coast. It makes me a little nervous. Tens of thousands in the potential strike zone are rushing to get ready. We want folks to be uh, aware. We want them to take all the necessary precautions at their own properties to protect their property as well as themselves. Moving sandbags into place, filling gas tanks, and making sure there's plenty of food and water for what could be a rough ride for the next couple of days. We don't know how bad it'll be. Best to do what you got to do before it get here. But the time to prepare is quickly running out. Throughout the day today and into tonight, conditions are expected to deteriorate. Strong winds, a growing surf, and soaking rains. Four to possibly eight inches, maybe even up to a foot, uh, not only along the coast, but also inland. As Gordon moves in. Yeah, and look, along with that rain and the gusting winds, we could also see a storm surge here of two to six feet. That could cause some significant damage as well. Now let's get to Keith. And Keith, I know that once this thing gets inland, you guys are going to get some of the effects from Gordon as well. That's right, Jay. We are looking at the potential for up to a half a foot of rain in parts of Arkansas. This isn't going to be a primarily wind event for Arkansas, but heavy rain over a very short time period is going to be the big problem. Latest from the National Hurricane Center, the advisory at 4 o'clock shows a storm about 95 miles southeast of Biloxi. Maximum sustained winds are 70 miles per hour. That's just a few miles an hour shy of hurricane strength. Hurricane strength 74 miles per hour or higher. At this point, time is growing very short for Gordon to do much strengthening, but conditions will be near hurricane as we head through a little bit later on this evening as we do expect Gordon to make landfall along the coast of Mississippi and Alabama. As Jay had mentioned, we are looking at anywhere from a two to six foot storm surge on top of the already high waves that are occurring in that part of the central Gulf Coast. Now, once Gordon makes landfall, it will be decreasing in intensity as far as winds are concerned. It is expected to be a tropical depression by tomorrow afternoon located just to the southeast of southeast Arkansas and then become a remnant area of low pressure as it moves across the central and western part of Arkansas during the course of Thursday and Friday afternoons. It is going to be bringing in a tremendous amount of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and for that reason we are expecting to see some very heavy rainfall. Anywhere from five to seven inches of rain from Greenville, Mississippi up through Arkadelphia including Monticello, Pine Bluff up toward Fort Smith. Lesser amounts the further northeast you go away from the track of Gordon and for that reason, the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch for a large part of southeast and south central Arkansas beginning late tomorrow afternoon and through the day, at least through the day on Thursday. We'll have more on your forecast in just a few minutes. Mallory? Keith, thank you. Road crews in southeast Arkansas are already preparing for heavy rainfall and wind damage. The Arkansas Department of Transportation in Jefferson County is working overtime to get ahead of the storm from servicing chainsaws to fueling front loaders. More than 200 road workers are ready to mobilize. RDOT engineers are expecting several inches of rain and strong winds. A day and a half in advance and just gives us time to prep the equipment, make sure everything's in place where we think we'll need it based on the projected forecast. It's a little easier than having to scramble at the last minute. They say this part of the state is very experienced when it comes to storms moving in from the Gulf of Mexico, saying that crews can quickly remove any fallen debris from roadways, and if there are any road closures, message board signs are collected, ready to be put into place. 
We are your weather authority and we will have live reports throughout this newscast and throughout the night. You can also get the latest forecast and the impact Gordon will have on Arkansas right now at your fingertips. Just go to KARK.